Today we're talking about particle deflectors, which are a really, really important part of the particle simulator. Deflectors are used to create interaction between your particles and everything else in your scene, so whether you're doing motion graphics or a visual effects shot, you'll be using deflectors to have things bouncing off walls, off other layers, and that kind of stuff. So we put together a little video that shows you exactly how you create them in HitFilm and the sort of potential that you've got. Here's the project for the video we showed earlier in the week. We'll turn off motion blur and depth of field to make things a bit snappier in the software. You can see the particles bouncing around as we move the playhead. This is a bit of a complex setup, so we're actually going to start with something rather simpler. I'll create a new comp and turn it into 3D by adding a camera. Then we'll drag on our trusty particle simulator. Some of you have asked us to clarify which features are in Ultimate and which are in Standard. Both versions get particle effects, but only Ultimate has the full-on, does-everything particle simulator. Similarly, HitFilm Standard does have some simple deflectors, but if you want complete control, you're going to want to use HitFilm Ultimate. So the first thing to do is change the particle emitter to a cone trajectory. That will make it easier to see exactly where the particles are going. We'll just rotate it so it's going down. Let's also make the particles last a bit longer so that we can see them bouncing around more. So as you can see, at the moment the particles are spewing out and dropping away into the distance. Okay, let's add a deflector and take a look at its properties. There are two types of deflector. The first one is a cuboid, which we have here. It's spawned up where the emitter is, so let's first move it somewhere more useful. If I move it out and down, then move it in so it collides with the particles, you can see them start to react straight away. If you play through, you can see some particles missing the deflector, while others hit it and bounce up in the opposite direction. If we switch view and zoom out a bit, you can get a better idea. This is all well and good if your movie is set in space, but if not, you probably don't want your particles drifting away endlessly like this. That's where forces come in. If I add one to this particle simulation, you can see it having an instant effect. The default setup for a force makes it work like gravity, so you can see the particles still hitting the deflector and bouncing, but then being dragged back down. You can also use other layers in your composite shot as deflectors. Let's add a plane. I'll make it a 400 by 400 square and then switch over to 3D. Back in the particle sim, we'll change the deflector from cuboid to layer and then pick that new plane we just added. When I now move the plane into position, it will start to affect the particles. Even as I rotate and move it about, the particles update based on the new setup. You can also animate your deflectors. So if I add a couple of position keyframes, for example, to this plane, you can see the particles behaving just as you'd expect. If I add some orientation keyframes so that the plane tips over backwards, the particles still behave in a realistic manner. In addition, each particle system has its own bounce and friction settings. If I increase the bounce, you can see the particles bouncing much higher off the plane. If I then lower it, they'll hit the plane and just slide straight off. If I then increase the friction, the particles actually stick to the plane when they hit it, if you use the right textures and settings, you could probably make this look like paint hitting a surface. So back in the main comp, you can now see how it's set up. Each of the planes here have been assigned as deflectors for the particles, with a couple of them even rotating. The great thing is that after the initial setup, you can then move your planes or your particles around, and everything just works. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please do subscribe because we've got a lot more still to come. We're actually closing in pretty fast on the release date now, so uh, you don't have too long to wait until you can actually start to use HitFilm yourself.